other biennials all over uh, around the world. In a way, they remain true to that idea. One of the things that we'll discuss in a minute is whether or not they remain living sculptures, and the answer seems to be very much yes. Um, since you went to art school and met in London, you've, you've, you've always lived and worked in London. Could you ever conceive of, of living and working anywhere else, even though you've exhibited all around the world, or is London your place? We well, you don't it? live in London. We live, we live in East London. <laughs> We will never move from East London, Jack the Ripper. Yes, we were so worried, so we asked a friend of ours to write a letter to the head of sculpture, asking whether he would recommend her for a project. And he wrote back, and the, the friend showed us the letter, and he said, Dear Madam, under no circumstances, anything to do with these two people. <laughs> <laughs> this is what he calls the other students who are already outside our school. It was after the school that we started with the so what did you learn at art school? Who are the artists here? I mean, some people will teach, and some won't. Some will learn a lot. I think you're doing things. Always oil. Never as oil. And uh, on canvas, and I continue my painting on wood. Uh, as you see, the frames is not a frames. It's the continuation of the my painting. So I avoid to have frames. Uh, I'm proud of this one, the human passage in red, because even if it seems to be simple, uh, it hides strength. I like this one very much. Warps and uh, chords, everyone, everybody wants to be, uh, to be attached with something in their life. And uh, that's the meaning of a rope. We want to be attached somewhere. Religion or idea or uh, uh, a rope. Huh? Okay, seamen use the rope to attach vessel, the sailboat, something to, to feel secure. For me, rope is not only attachment in a bad you know, meaning, but it's to feel secure. The meaning of red, it's not, not only red, okay? The red is uh, the strength, maybe. It's what you uh, make you uh, feel more in this one, okay? It's not only red. I use all colors, all colors. I am in love with colors. So, ladies and gentlemen, the Biennale is pleased to welcome the Young Artists for Human Rights Association. And we are very happy to welcome the founder of Artists for Human Rights Association, the Actress for Academy nomination actress, Ms. Anne. I'm thrilled to be here at the fabulous Biennale dell'Arte Contemporanea di Frenza. I would like to personally thank the president of the Biennale, as well as members of the Biennale International Jury and members of the Biennale Scientific Committee. And therefore, it is with great pleasure that we celebrate and present to you tonight, today, Artists for Human Rights International Humanitarian Award to the President of the Biennale, Pascale Chilosa.
if you raise your hand, and if you have two people that you know, raise your two hands. I just want to have a show of hands. That is too many hands. I don't think, I think even one hand is one too many. That's why the program Passion for Life is important. Because we, as people, as artists, we are suffering to see our, our friends, family members die 